Hey, what is up, my YouTube family? Hope everybody's doing good out there and having themselves a good work week. Now, I wanted to throw this video real quick up today just to show you guys a little bit more of the Amazon Fire Stick. Now, I've been getting a lot and a lot of feedback on the video that I made demonstrating how I watch um, live free movies. And I really appreciate the feedback and I'm really enjoying your comments and how many of you guys are enjoying this product. But a lot of the questions that I'm getting are repetitive. And the one that I keep getting is, how do I watch live sports while using um, the Kodi and the Amazon Fire Stick? So I want to go ahead and do a little bit of a demonstration of how exactly I'm doing it. So that way um, I can just show you guys and you can see for yourselves that it actually works. Now I went ahead and already fired up the Amazon Fire Stick. And being that baseball is in season and it's pretty much what everybody's watching right now with football on the way, um, I'm just going to go ahead and do a demonstration of how to watch live baseball. So the first thing that I want to do is I want to open my MLB.com app on my phone just so that I can show you guys some of the live games that are on right now. So you can see right now the Yankees and the Indians are playing in the bottom of the first. There's two men on with one out so you can see the time it's 4 26 p.m uh here in california so i'm going to go ahead and show you guys yankees versus cleveland so that way you guys know i'm not lying on the times and i'm going to go ahead and put it on using cody and show you guys how to get to it okay so the first thing i'm going to do is i'm going to take my remote and i'm going to open the actual cody program so we'll go ahead and do this all together in live real time that way you guys can get an idea of how to do it. Now I know that the Amazon Fire Stick is a little bit confusing at first, but once you get the hang of it, it's a piece of cake. Yeah. So if you see me going through all these um, pages right now, just go ahead and refer to the video that I posted about a month ago showing you guys how to get to free movies and you can get a better idea of how fast I'm going. So if you remember, you'll see that I have all these different applications. So these are ones are already preloaded when I buy the Amazon Fire Stick. So you can see I have Play On Browser, which is giving me ABC, NBC, CBS, Sci-Fi. Each one of these apps indicates it all does something different. Now, a lot of them are movies. A lot of them are music. Some of them are live television. So in order to get to sports, you're going to have one that's already preloaded. And it's going to be called, let me get to it. Sports Devil, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and click on Sports Devil. Oh, sorry. It's doing a quick update on one of my other apps. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and click on Sports Devil. So it's going to, it says working. So now you'll see that um, Sports Devil is open. So I'm going to go ahead and go down right here to where it says Live Sports. So I'm going to click on Live Sports. And the first one, all these different names that you're saying these are all different streaming websites but i personally like the one at the top it says atdhenet.tv now i know all these names are confusing but just follow the video and you'll see how simple it is to use once you fall into a rhythm so you'll see this is working now this is going to give me a list of all live sports that are being broadcast throughout the world right now so you can see i have espn espn2 nba tv nfl network Big Brother, blah, blah, blah. Here's some, looks like maybe tennis. And so here's some women's basketball. So what did I say? Uh, New York Yankees versus Cleveland Indians. So I'm going to go ahead and find it, and I'm going to actually just go ahead and click on it. So you'll see up at the top it says working. So you give it a second. Now it's streaming from my internet connection, so that's why it takes, you know, maybe 20 seconds to actually get up and running. So right now, they're on a commercial break that's in progress. So I'm not actually going to get the commercials because it's coming off of MLB TV. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and go back so I can show you guys. Now let's try Colorado versus New York Mets. So I'm going to go ahead and click on Colorado versus New York Mets. It says working. And we will give it a second just to find the stream. Now, what I'm doing with the baseball games works exactly the same with everything else. So, for instance, okay, so there we go. So we'll give it a second to get going. It usually bricks up maybe for just a second, and there we go. So now I'm able to watch live Colorado versus the New York Mets. 
Now, this is in high definition resolution. I wouldn't say it's 1080p. It's probably playing back to me at mm, maybe more like 720p. Um, but the resolution in the picture is great. And I can watch any baseball game it is that I want to watch. Now, um, let's go ahead and do another one. So I'm going to go ahead and hit the back button. So you'll see that the game will continue running while the back screen opens up. Let's go ahead and try New York versus Cleveland again. Let's see if they're still in commercial. So you just heard the guy right now on live television say, today is August the 11th, so you know that I'm watching live television. Let's go ahead and give it a second. Okay, so now I'm on uh, Cleveland and New York, the original um, uh, game that I wanted to show you guys when I first started it. Now, if you remember, we were in the bottom of the first. So obviously they got the two out, so now we're in the top of the second. So I can sit here and watch... New York versus Cleveland live 100% free.